day number 19. In 30 days of ham radio, we are going to do some wind link today. So I'm driving around right now running some errands for my mystery boxes. We're also going to show some mystery boxes. I started a mystery box subscription service in May of 2025. And this month happens to be the second renewal, the third round. If you consider the first round is not a renewal. <laughs> this is the third round, second time it's renewed. Had a lot of people sign up for the first time last week, uh, a couple weeks ago when I advertised it on my email list. Go to hamradio2.com forward slash email dash sign up to sign up on my email list to keep up with all kinds of different things we're doing. Updates on the website, updates on the YouTube channel, trips we're taking, that kind of thing. But I'm in the wife's car today. We are driving up to my mailbox to check the mail. And then there's a packet Winlink repeater that is close by. Winlink gateway, I should say. Packet Winlink gateway that is close by where I like to check my Winlink mail if I'm out and about and on the go and not necessarily at home. Yesterday, we went to the VHF contest station put together by, by K5QE who is unfortunately now silent key, but his son owns and runs the property now. Wow, what a what an incredible setup that they had up there. I mean, just like dozens of antennas, dozens of antennas, all six meters or higher in frequency. So six meters is 50 megahertz, two meters is 144 megahertz. Uh, they had a 220 station, 222 megahertz, a 432 megahertz station and a 1.2 gig or 1296 megahertz station. They did not have a 900 station. I asked them about that and they said, well, we used to have a 900 megahertz station and something fouled up with the the uh, the LNA on the antenna. I think it was the antenna. Something fouled up, some kind of piece of hardware fouled up somewhere and they didn't feel like paying money to replace it because they found very little activity on the 900 megahertz band, which is a shame really, because that's a fun band to be on. Uh, so they haven't replaced it. They still have all the, like the radios and the transverters and everything. They still have all the hardware and presumably they have a few of the antennas as well, but, uh, but no 900 megahertz station set up there right now, but pretty much everything else in the VHF and UHF spectrum for amateur radio is there. So that was a really fun time. I, I appreciate Ryan inviting me out there and if there's ever another VHF contest, uh, we'd love to, to join you guys again. There, There's basically three VHF contests per year. There's one in January, one in June, and one in September. The September one is the one that we were just in. And there's also an EME contest in like uh, for two weekends, a weekend in October, a weekend in November. So, And they participate in that. They said that they do a lot of EME. They have a lot of their stations set up to do Earth, Moon, Earth, or Moon Bounce. So they're going to do the EME contest uh, in October, November of this year. Perhaps I will get a chance to go out there again. But anyway, that was a really cool setup. I appreciate those guys allowing me to come down and take video of the spot. So today we're headed to the mailbox. We're going to pick up a few things. Well, I just go to I go to my mailbox about two to three times a week, and I've been out of town for the last four days. So there's some mail waiting for me. Got some orders to ship out from the website, some Ed Fong antennas, some right in the rain pads, some Molite stuff. This guy just pulled out in front of me. Good job. Lincoln Navigator. It's a good, good job there. So we're going to go up to the mailbox, check, drop off mail, pick up mail, and then we're going to do some wind link activity because there's a wind link gateway kind of in this area close to where my mailbox is. I did a video a couple of months ago about WOAD, W-O-A-D, which is wind link over Android, and that's the primary app that I use for wind link these days. You can do WinLink over WinLink Express on Windows. There's a few uh, iPhone apps and some app for Mac OS. I don't remember what that is right now. But WinLink Express on Windows is actually quite powerful. So one of the days I was at the Poda Park. So some of you are going to ask, well, why don't you do WinLink Express? And I'm like, okay, let me explain. One of the days I was at the Poda Park when we were in Galveston at the beginning of this 30-day challenge, I tried some WinLink Express and I couldn't really get it to work. I've used it before in the past, but it's been a few months and I can't remember exactly everything you're supposed to do. I was trying some uh, some Vara HF connections and I couldn't get my Winlink station to connect to a 10 meter or a 20 meter Vara Winlink gateway. So I went back and I emailed a couple of people 
and I was referred to this one guy who uh, has some videos on how on how to set up Winlink Express and how to do all this stuff, how to do almost everything with Winlink Express, which is a very deep and detailed program, but it only works on Windows. And it's kind of dated if you look at it. If you've, if you've ever used the original like Thunderbird email program or Outlook back when it was installed, a locally installed program, that's kind of what it looks like. It acts like a post office protocol server where you pop into the Winglink server, download your email, and then disconnect, kind of like the old dial-up days. But that's just Winlink in general. And then Winlink Express kind of looks like it was written from that era of programs and application went back when stuff was written in that uh, in that time frame. So, but it's a very deep and detailed program, like I said, and it's very powerful, and you can do a lot of stuff with it. And I just don't know it well enough to be able to do a video on it yet. But I am studying. I am learning a few things here and there. I am trying to find out more about it so that I can do a, a, an informed video rather than just bumbling through it. But Woad, which Woad, uh, Winlink over Android, only uses Packet. Packet is one of the modes you can check Winlink with. There's Packet, there's Vara, there's Vara FM, there's, uh, there's RDOP, there's, there's a couple others. I don't remember exactly. Pactor is one. There's maybe one or two others. Anyway... Packet Winlink is the uh, packet is the only mode that Woad works over, and it's the one I most commonly use anyway, and I really enjoy it. So today we're going to check Winlink emails over Woad on my Android phone, kind of show you how that works. If you are interested in sending me a Winlink email, send it to kc5hwb at winlink, winlink.org, winlink.com. I don't remember which one it is. If you have a Winlink program, just type in my call sign and hit enter. It'll populate automatically because I have a Winlink account. If you already use WinLink, then you already know that. Send me an email. You can send an email from your Gmail, from your Yahoo, from your workmail, whatever. You can send it to that address, and I should get it. I will reply to those. And just like I'm doing with APRS messages and All Star working and 6.52 work, just like I'm doing with all of that, I will rep- I will check and reply to WinLink emails for the rest of this challenge. So uh, stick around, and we're going to check some WinLink emails. Mystery box time. This is about half of the mystery boxes that have renewed so far. That back row is all technician. This row here is all general level. And there's about that many altogether extra boxes, amateur extra boxes. Give you guys a preview of the t-shirt that is being included in the mystery box this round. So I sell those, they renew every 60 days. It is a every other month subscription service at three levels. And I've got some really cool new partners that I'm partnering with. Brand names you will recognize, such as Bioeno, Right in the Rain, Madman, VF Comms, who makes the Farage antenna, Grid Base, Smiley Antennas, World Radio League, Olight Flashlights. Names like that, that's not all of them. That's all I can remember off the top of my head, but uh, there's at least a half dozen more who have emailed me and said, yeah, we want to be included in your Mystery Box subscription service. So looking forward to uh, seeing how that grows. Thank you to those of you who have ordered one and are on the subscription list. So I'm out here in the parking lot because the Winlink Gateway is uh, down that road somewhere. I, I think I know which tower it is, it's on. I, I don't really know for sure, but it doesn't matter because many times I have checked my Winlink email from this location. So once again, we are going to use the BTEC UV Pro, which has a full KISS TNC. And I've talked about this in uh, this radio in my APRS video, and it is it's about $165. It's got full APRS capability. Oh, well, it's got APRS capability, and it's about 85-90% there. It does have a few qu- weird quirks with the APRS functionality of it. Probably stuff that can be fixed in firmware, hopefully. So hopefully we see some firmware updates from BTEC and or VGC soon. But regardless of that, this has a full KISS TNC, which means you can connect to it via Bluetooth from your phone or tablet or computer, and you can do TNC functions, one of which is... Winlink. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that your APRS droid is not running. So we're going to go back over here to Winlink over Android 
and I'm going to change my radio. I put a extra long antenna. This is a signal stick antenna because people will ask in the comments, there's like, what, what antenna are you using? Signal stick, one of my favorite antennas and this gives you an extended range and it's a little bit more sturdy and knock aroundable <laughs> than the stock antenna is. So I've got a, I've got a frequency programmed into this radio already for uh, South Lake Windlink, which South Lake is a town right uh, near Grapevine where I live. And that's where the Windlink gateway is located. So KE5NET South Lake, that's where we're at right now. So I'm going to click on start and it should connect right up to this radio. There it is, Bluetooth to there. Make sure it's on high power. There we go. It says running on the screen. I'm going to guess that this Windlink node is down, Windlink gateway, because I turned the volume up on the radio there and I should be hearing something. I should be hearing something, whether it's noise or digital activity or something. I'm not hearing anything at all from that gateway. So something's up. I'm pretty sure my settings are correct. I've used this setting, this memory channel before. So unless something's changed, this should be working. So time to do some research. All right, looking on this map of the screen of my phone, there should be one in this South Lake area right here. South Lake right there in the middle of the screen. That's where this one used to be. So it's not showing on the map right now. Does that mean it's offline? Does that mean they took it down? I don't know. But the next closest one is probably this one right here, although it's not that close to me, 144.930. So let's tune the radio over to 144.930. I doubt I can hit that from here. N5XHI. N5XHI, add. I'm not sure if that's actually grapevine or not, but that's where I'm going to put it on it. Pack it. Let's see, okay, RMS channel selection, I wonder if you can search for it in here, view on map, I'm not sure why it's putting me all the way over there, that's not where I'm at, view is list, 11, yep, 11's good, via, direct, I guess I could, TNC, kiss type, yep, UV Pro, yep, that's it, all right, connected via Bluetooth to the radio. And I'm just simply too far away from that one. That's not gonna work. All right, so they took down my, uh, or at least it, maybe it's just temporarily offline, I don't know. I'll have to email KE5NET. It's not a person that I know, but if I could find his email address on QRZ, I will email him and ask him about the status of his Winlink gateway. This is Ham Radio, trial and error. We're gonna find another place to do packet Winlink here shortly. It's working. It is working. You can hear it squawking. That's what that other station never did. And there it stopped. So it received messages and then it and then it went to send messages. I didn't have any messages to send, so it didn't send anything and then it disconnected. And now we don't hear the squawking anymore. I'm actually out here in Watauga right now. I'm actually picking up a new set of hats for my uh, printer out here. I like to get all of my t-shirts and hats are printed locally here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So let's open up the inbox now. Click on that and go here. All right, so I have messages, and I'm going to reply to all of these. I'm not going to do this on camera because it would take too long. I have messages from KK4YOS, KM4ACK. If you've never emailed KM4ACK, he, he checks his WinLink messages just about every day. KN8DAP. Oh, that's for the WinLink, uh, that's for the September WinLink net, okay. 88 MP, Alpha Delta 8, uh, Mike Papa, KQ4 KXA, KJ5 KTC, KC8 GEF, AC4 TC. In fact, the subject line says 30 days of ham radio. Good morning in that one. KE8 YOU, testing Winlink, K5 MML, KJ5 JAK, video about the two meter repeater. That guy, uh, that's uh, he was on the video. K KJ5JAK, he's the guy I talked to on the Roston repeater, I believe. Those are all the WinLink messages I have now. I'm going to reply to these, and then uh, and then we'll do another segment. Okay, so we're going to go to inbox here. There we go, and there's the ones that I've got. Another screenshot of it. I've already replied to KJ5JAK, K5MML, and KE8YOU, AC4TC. I recently watched your video about APRSD6 and saw that you planned on doing a Winlink video later in the 30 Days of Ham Radio in September. 
You are correct. I did say that, didn't I? <laughs> I enjoyed getting to meet you in the YouTubers of Montesano. Okay, you were at Huntsville. If you ever look for additional video ideas, may I suggest attempting a POTA activation using JS8 Call? All right, so let me talk about JS8 Call real quick. I was going to add JS8 Call to one of the days of 30 Days of Ham Radio, and every time I go to their new GitHub site, I use a Windows box. And I'm actually going to do... We're going to do something with Linux on one of the other days of this challenge. So we'll get to that. But generally, I use a Windows box. The Windows file of JS8 Call from their GitHub is full of viruses. I tried it on three different computers. Windows Defender kept saying, virus, 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 virus. And I would download it. I turned off Windows Defender. I tried to install it on three different computers. Chrome wouldn't let me download it. Brave wouldn't let me download it. Windows Defender, even though I turned it off, it quarantined it. I emailed Jordan, a great guy, by the way, who wrote JS8 Call, and he says, this is a false positive. Just go ahead and just go ahead and install it. And I've done that on other software applications before where they're like the signature is not recognized by Windows. They're like, we don't know this publisher, so install at your own risk. And I'm like, okay. But it won't, it, it's, Windows swears up and down on three different computers that there's a virus on that file. So until I can get that resolved, I'm not using JS8 Call. Now, I do have plans to build a cyber deck and install maybe Ubuntu, maybe Mint Linux on, a, on an older laptop I've got. So I'm going to do that, and I'll be able to use JS8 Call that way because the Linux version is, is probably fine. But that Windows version, there's something wrong with it. Thanks for the email. Post to Outbox. There we go, right there. All right, and we're going to go down to, okay, KC8GEF for the 30 days. Sending you a wing link message for the cause. <laughs> Enjoying the 30 days of ham radio. Awesome. Thanks for watching. And a few more of these I will get to. So send me a uh, send me a winlink message. I looked up the website earlier. It's winlink.org. KC5HWB at winlink.org. Or if you just open if you just open any winlink program and type any call sign and hit enter or hit tab, it will populate if the person has a winlink account and email address. So you don't even have to put at winlink.org at the end if you, if you're in a winlink application or program. So send me an email, KC5HWB. I'll be checking WinLink several days, several times throughout the rest of this uh, challenge. And I try to check WinLink about two, maybe three times a week. We're going to do a little bit more of that as well. And I would like to try to get WinLink Express going and do some VARA over HF and see kind of how that works and show you some different things inside of the WinLink Express program on the Windows box. I know, it's on a Windows box. WinLink Express does not work anywhere else except Windows. So we're going to use that one on a Windows box. 73 guys, thank you for watching these videos. Don't forget to donate to awrl.org forward slash 30 days to support the Teachers Institute. We will see you tomorrow.